Good afternoon, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. I hope you're having a great day today. It's Monday afternoon. Um, going through my stuff, and I realized I had some albums that I didn't show you on the weekend. Um, I don't know what happened. I know I was arranging a lot of stuff. Uh, going through uh, Rob Walker's video, so I had all kinds of stuff all over the place. So I just got maybe got mixed up in the mix. So um, I wanted to show you these. Before I get into it, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it. I want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collection. Uh, the vinyl community has been awesome. Uh, loved all you guys. Uh, so great. Um, tomorrow I want to finish, uh, or not finish, sorry, continue my series uh, looking at the Climax Blues Band. And... Um, the next album uh, plays on, which is that one down there. So, uh, but I wanted to show you these as well. So, I have um, a fair amount of Canadian in here, and a fair amount of debut albums in here as well. Um, so let's get started. So from Vancouver starting at around 1975. Sixth studio album. It's an untitled album released in 1980. This is Trooper. Great Canadian band. Great rock band, Trooper. Um, this has Don't Feel Like Dancing. If I never let you see your, sorry, If I Never See Your Face Again, Are You Still My Baby, Real Canadians, Legend, Dump That Creep, Laura, I Don't Want to Be Here, Volunteer Victims. Pristine Condition, it's on MCA Records. Yeah, pretty happy with that one. I was trying to pick up as much Canadian stuff as possible. I've never had that one before. Um, this one, uh, again, I'm trying to branch in my different genres as well. I uh, picked up some Blondie the other day. Uh, continuing on with a great, um, I guess I consider this person Power Pop. Um, Miss Cindy Lauper out of New York. This is her debut album, 1983. She's so unusual. An amazing album for her. Shot her to stardom. Uh, this is on um, Portrait Records. Uh, all kinds of big hits on to this one. Money Changes Everything. Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Super big hit. Uh, when You Were Mine. Time After Time. Another big hit. She Bop. Love that song. All Through the Night. Witness. I'll Kiss You. He's So Unusual. And Yeah, Yeah. Good, good stuff. So come to think of it, other than, well, there's a couple of rockers in here. Uh, I was going to say, not too many rockers, heavy, heavy rockers in this one, but uh, still some good rock music. Uh, this is another debut album from this Canadian slash international superstar uh, back in 1983. Um, he released this album and shot him to stardom in Canada and the U.S. This is Cuts Like a Knife, Mr. Brian Adams. It's um, on A&M Records. Again, pristine condition. This has the only one, Take Me Back. Uh, this time, straight from the heart, huge hit. Cuts like a knife, another big hit for him. Uh, I'm ready. What's it gonna be? Don't leave me lonely. Um, let him know, and the best was yet to come. Again, I guess another power pop rocker. I've seen him a number of times. Great performer. Um, Speaking of great performers, this is the first one I have of 
of uh, this particular artist. And I didn't realize he started back in 66. That's a long time ago for this guy. I know he's big in the 70s, but I didn't realize he started way back then. Uh, this is Mr. Jackson Brown out of L.A. This is the fifth studio album released in 1977, uh, Running on Empty. And again, pristine condition. Um, I've been lucky lately finding a lot of great, uh, a lot of great stuff. This is on um, Asylum Records. Of course, the big hit "Running on Empty," uh, "The Road," "Rosie." You love the thunder, cocaine, um, Sharky Town, love needs a heart, nothing but time, the loadout, and stay. Love the loadout as well. It's a good album. It's a good, good album. Um, another Canadian band. Out of Vancouver. Vancouver's released a lot of great Canadian bands. Um, Brian Adams was from Vancouver as well. I don't know if I mentioned that. But he started in Kingston, Ontario, which is about an hour east of here. Uh, this band is from uh, Vancouver, started in 1980. Uh, this is their debut album, Turn It Loud, in 1982. Nominated for Juno Album of the Year, uh, which is uh, our version of the uh, Grammys. Uh, Miss Darby Mills, an amazing lead vocalist on this one, but this is uh, Turn It Loud, the Headpins. This is a this is a rocker for sure. This is a uh, it's got a duplicate stamp on it, CFRC. Uh, uh, R F R C F M. Uh, to compliment, so maybe it's a demo. Not sure. But uh, a lot of great rockers on this one. Turn it loud. Keep walking away. Don't you ever leave me. People, don't it make you feel? Big hit. Winning. You can't have me in Breaking Down. At Miss Darby Mills Lee Vocals. stuff. Great shape. Yeah, it's a duplicate. Here it is right here. There's another stamp on the on the cover. Compliments of CFRC. Not sure what that means. have a couple of uh, of this band but I picked up two more from Niagara Falls Canada uh, started in 1981 uh, this one sorry let's start with the debut album this is another debut album um, a self-titled honeymoon suite released in 1984 Um, New Girl Now, big hit for them. Burning in Love, Way Babies, another cool hit for these guys. Stay in the Light. Now what? Now you got. I'm sorry. Now that you got me. Funny Business, Heart on Fire, Turn My Head. It's your heart and face to face. Oh, there's a picture of the falls there. It's cool. Didn't realize that one. And picture of downtown Niagara Falls, it looks like. This is on Wii Records.
and another album by these guys uh, released in 1988 this is Racing After Midnight Honeymoon Suite um, This has uh, looking up for number one, long way back, cold look, love fever, other side of midnight, uh, love changes everything. It's uh, it's over now. Fast company, tears on the page, and lethal weapon from the picture, lethal weapon. Uh, so it, they, it's a soundtrack. These guys did a lot of soundtracks, um, but this is on. Um, uh, what is this on? Columbia House. Good rock albums, for sure. And finally, um, I thought this was their debut album, but it's actually their second album, released in 1974. These guys started out in 1972 from Missouri. Uh, this is the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. It'll shine when it shines. This is on uh, A&M Records. So this has. Uh, it's also got a. I guess a mini poster in it as well. Just showing different members of the band. along with the song lyrics. Sorry. So this has, uh, you made it right, look away, Jackie Blue, uh, Kansas You Fool, it couldn't have been better. E.E. Um, e. Lewison, Walking Down the Road, What Happened Along My Life, uh, It'll Probably Always Will, Lowlands, Tidal Wave, and It'll Shine When It Shines, the title track. Just the artwork on this is pretty awesome. That's a plate, actually. Plate on a table. I think about vinyl, you get so many cool stuff. You just you just don't get the same with CDs. As much as I love CDs, um, album artwork is just amazing. So there you have it. There's some uh, finds that I failed to show on the weekend, but um, hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'm pretty pleased with this find. A lot of Canadian stuff, a lot of Canadian artists, which I'm proud of. Um, I'll be reviewing this album tomorrow. I've heard bits and pieces of it. Pretty good stuff. So, anyway, thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of the evening and take care. Bye now.